Good day everyone, I'm Shamil Dexter Pasukal, your demonstrator for today, and we will be discussing about performance assessment. So the traditional paper and pencil test or assessment was the most common kind of assessment that has been used in the past. However, as the world progresses and the world considers the theory called empiricism, wherein it states that knowledge is gained through experience, particularly our sensory experience. And as what John Dewey said, that the people or every learner is learning by doing something. With that, the recognition of effectiveness of performance assessment is prevalent today and has been the most popular assessment that has been used in today's educational system. What is performance assessment? So, performance assessment engages students in activities and tasks that require application of knowledge and skills through creating of a presentation or a product. So, when you engage students in activities, you are letting them learn by doing that specific task or you are providing them the specific learning experience because this is an effective way of letting them develop that specific knowledge and skills because with that you are not just assessing or letting them develop their lower order thinking skills but as well as their higher order thinking skills because performance assessments requires application and also utilization of knowledge and skills when you try to present or perform something or creating a product. So performance is shorthand for performance based or performance and product which is also a type of performance assessment and we will be discussing that later on. But first, let us remember that alternative assessment and authentic assessment cannot be used synonymously with performance assessment despite them having like similar definition because alternative assessment is any method that differs from conventional paper and pencil tests while authentic assessment involves direct examination of students ability to use knowledge to per perform a real life task when you say a real life task it is where you let students apply their acquired skill or knowledge to a specific situation or environment that is real in the outside world. Therefore, you are giving them an authentic experience. So, And that authentic experience will help them develop their specific skills and knowledge depending on the task that is given to you. So now, we will be discussing about the benefits of using performance assessment. First is learning occurs while students complete the assessment. So when we gain a mental or physical grasp of the subject or we experience something by taking part of a hands-on activity or when we make sense of a subject, event, or feeling by interpreting it into our own words or action, learning occurs in that. And also, Learning occurs when we use our newly acquired ability or knowledge in conjunction with the skills and understanding we already possess or when we use our prior knowledge and utilize it with the things that we newly learn. Next is teacher interacts with students as they engage in the task. This is also a way of formatively assessing the students and at the same time giving them feedback so that they will be able to assist them in their learning while doing the performance task. Next is prepare students for thinking and reasoning outside of the school. Because as we all know, this knowledge and skills that we have or we gain through performance assessment is not just applicable inside the classroom but also outside of the classroom such as in our day-to-day -day lives or even when we work at a specific institution. Next is students learn that often no single answer is correct because as we all know there are many ways to kill a chicken. So when we do performance tasks there are many ways of demonstrating something creatively and there's also a way of innovating a specific product that you see somewhere or online. Next is students value the task. Students value the task because as you all know, when we experience something and we learn through that, 
the retention of that knowledge or skill is prolonged for a very long period of time or sometimes it will be retained in us forever unlike when we do a paper and pencil test wherein after the exam we will sometimes forget about what we have learned so when we do performance assessment students value the task because the knowledge and skills that you gain through that is long lasting so now for us to be able to learn more about performance assessment and understand it well i will give you an example basing on the types of performance assessment or specifically the performance based and the product based so in performance based an example of that is keyboard typing so in here you are just assessing the students capability of doing or performing a specific skill in keyboard typing so students are just demonstrating their ability or their capacity in keyboard typing so there is demonstration so you demonstrate keyboard typing next is product base so an example for that is creating a remote controlled machine so in that students are required to produce something by providing concrete examples of the application of knowledge and skills that they gain through example so in product base you are creating a product and that is all for performance assessment thank you for listening and i hope you learned something today